Hello everyone, what is up? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day again. We got extra news for today's video. Mr. Level Up has tweeted out XRP update. Hey, what's up everyone? So I want to give you guys a update on XRP. Um, I have it here on a 12 hour. I have Omisigo on the 12 hour. Uh, this is that response that uh, you can see it kind of going up. We talked about this on the live stream that whenever it hits that 50 on the one day, uh, expect probably a little bit of a push up. It's usually a good time to buy on those, but that doesn't mean we're you know we're out of here. Don't worry about what I got up here right now. This is actually really no longer valid um, because it broke out um, a couple days ago. So uh, let's go back to that 12 hour, so you can see what I'm looking at here. So now I got ARCs, XRP and Omisi go both on 12 hours. Look at the 50 moving average coming over. See when it, it starts to come over, you see what happens here. You see that green candle come up. You see what happens it comes back through and it comes down to the 100 and actually through the 100 right so that it could wick all the way back all the way down to the 24 even maybe possibly 23 cents if you look on the MACD when it starts to curl up right here and go through that's when it happens so you're gonna you're getting that push right now you're gonna get that push I'm curious on when Bitcoin I'm you know you, you see what I have on Bitcoin I'm watching it right now to see what happens not that they need to stay I identical but um, what I can say is that this right here is is looking very much um, the same XRP right now so this is what I'm watching for XRP uh, so if you want to just kind of follow along this is something a mise ago and XRP both on 12 hours have 50 100 200 moving averages put your MACD in your RSI and your stochastic it'll give you a good insight of what's taking place all right I'll see you guys so it looks like we're going to get some choppy action XRP crow sweet out Ripple actually throttled that growth because one of the things that's important when using ODL is you have to have really good liquidity on both sides of the transaction. And also, if XRP doesn't have enough liquidity in the marketplace, then you can't put as much demand through. Now this tweet connects to the next tweet once again from XRP Crow. Ripple has absolutely no plan to reset our strategy using XRP to solve a real world $10 trillion problem like cross-border payments is working. That is the goal guys. Look at the real world problem Ripple XRP is solving. Now we left yesterday's video on this. Let's continue. A new asset class is being created around the world allowing cryptocurrencies to be held by the banks as an asset. This means that you could store your coins as an asset like a house and borrow against them without ever having to sell them. That would continue to appreciate as more and more transactions go through the Ripple XRP system daily. There are currently no projections that Ripple XRP will fail. Only contention is how much it will rise. The minimum project is that it will be $1.60 by the end of the year, $10,000 in 5 to 10 years or sooner. Ripple allows on-demand liquidity which saves the banks a fortune and eliminates their exposure to currency price risks. It means that the banks don't have to hold every currency, they just have to use XRP. Gold-backed currencies are coming. The paper contracts are running out and are not being renewed. Gold and silver will move to their historical values or more. Gold is traditionally priced at $10,000 to $12,000 and silver to gold ratio is traditionally 47 to 1. The ratio of gold to silver now is close to 100 to 1. This will balance itself and generate a profit from gold of 5x and from silver 10x. Gold backed currencies are declared. And then it keeps going on and on but we'll stop there for today's video. We still might continue on this topic on tomorrow's video. The Wolf of Sweet Out, US federal agencies like the Department of Treasury, Department of Health and Human Services and, and Food and Drug Administration are using DLT and blockchain. Federal agencies are increasingly using blockchains for transparency, efficiency, security and flexibility. Now if we go on the article right here, let's listen to this. Federal agencies turning to blockchain for its benefits. Federal agencies have turned to blockchain for its transparency, efficiency, security and flexibility. According to Fed Tech Magazine, several federal agencies like the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, and the Department of Treasury began using blockchain. Officials in the U.S. Food and Drug Administration needed an effective way to help them track data on the H1N1 swine flu virus that had begun to spread again in 2017. 
Of course, officials at the U.S. Food and Drug Administration did not find a better way than adopting blockchain technology. Henry Francis, Associate Director for Data Mining and Informatics Evaluation and Research at the FDA's Center for Drug Evaluation and Research, has already successfully developed a blockchain-based application that automatically enables them to obtain encrypted data in real-time, from many sources. Francis explained that the real-time application for portable interactive devices, RAPID, program is one of the first full-blown implementations of blockchain in federal government, but interest in the technology is growing. Blockchain and Management The Department of Treasury's Office of Financial Innovation and Transformation, or FIT, also turned to blockchain. Its first application was for tracking mobile devices and its second application was for software licenses management. FIT also tested whether the use of blockchain could improve grant payment processes in cooperation with the National Science Foundation. Early blockchain trials showed promise but indicated that FIT needed to learn more about the technology to manage it more effectively and match it with best used cases, said Craig Fisher, the FIT project director. The Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, is also using distributed ledger technology to increase its bulk purchasing power, reduce its reporting burden, cut costs for industry partners and improve record keeping for vendor transactions. The FDA is also investigating how it can use blockchain to track and manage threats to food safety across the nation's vast and decentralized food system and increase transparency in the pharmaceutical supply chain. And the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, has already certified Beef Chain, a blockchain company that traces the beef supply chain. And there we go, guys. Federal agencies turning to blockchain for its benefits, more growth and more news. Once again, from XRP Crypto Wolf, the IRS said cryptocurrency earned from a uh, microtasking job taxable income. IRS wants to tax us on our cryptocurrencies for everything, but we still can't get full crypto regulatory clarity from the U.S. government. And here is the article right here. So what do you guys think about taxing cryptocurrencies? A taxpayer who receives convertible virtual currency in exchange for performing a micro test through a crowdsourcing platform has, has received consideration in exchange for performing a service and the convertible virtual currency received is taxable as ordinary income. Shaco Dago tweeted out, looks like it will be a September to remember for XRP. Charts are screaming for a huge breakout, possibly the QFS implementation with XRP involved, SBI finally live. Again guys, September should be huge. We'll have to wait and be patient and see what happens. Kaboom is tweeted out, this is something I truly believe will happen. We can see here from QFA, will the price shoot up fast? Yes, but to 4 digits overnight? No. Why would they do that when they can recoup 75% plus of the outstanding retail XRP from holders who would sell between 5 to $15? Makes no sense. So what do you guys think about this and when will you guys sell your XRPs? But who really knows what is going to happen at the end of the day. But anyways guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Feel free to be a member of the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And you guys, see ya. This is the beginning of the greatest economic cycle this country has had since World War II. And I knew the things that Donald would do. And he hasn't even got started. But this is the eye of the mother storm, the perfect storm. It ain't never gonna get any better. Never. This is perfect for the QLA model. If I could have written the mother uh, a prescription or a formula, I couldn't have written it any better. Low interest rates, money's free, you stupid. Massive chaos. And Donald's going to rip the mother economy apart. And he's going to for practice in a good way. This is it. It ain't never going to get any better. This is like a multiple orgasm the rest of your life, you fucking slags that are in the audience. This is it. Sometimes I don't want to hear what Dan has to tell me. But as I wrote in one of my blogs, the old man, he's always right. Because he's telling you what you don't want to hear about yourself, but what you know is true. And that is, you're not stepping yourself up. You're not stepping your game up. And you get caught up in fear. As Dan says, false expectations appear in you.